Chelsea Valerini. Sing to her. Thanks. You really do. You too. Thanks. Thanks. So early. I should just try to look all right. Is this early for you? Oh, very. But well, what I... about you? Have it. Your daughter. She must get up early for school. And she stuff. does. I don't always. She's seventeen. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's right. I still think of now. you having a little girl. So do I. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But yeah. You're, you're from England. But where do you live now, though? In LA. LA. Yeah. Okay. You decided to just stay. Well, we had to sort of make a decision so that my daughter didn't end up weird, like going into school in different countries all the time and stuff. So we ended up sort of sticking, and so now she's a junior. Do you remember what you said to me a few oh. years ago? This was a, a while ago. She was little. Right. And you said whenever her British accent started to fade, you would take her back to, to England. Yeah, and give her her beating. <laughs> <laughs> but how is it now? It's exactly like mine. Oh, but, oh, yeah, okay, so yeah. she just suffers because every single day someone says, oh, say aluminium, say tomato and mocks her, but she's used to it now. Right, she's right. like, but it's still a novelty for everybody else, apparently. It is. We, we, <laughs> we like we like the British accent here in America. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm yeah. very glad. Well, you know, but the one thing about LA that that when I lived there it was very hard for me to get used to, and I wonder if you've gotten used to it. The traffic. Are Wait. you are you adjusted to the traffic in LA? I'm so, I, st I still don't have my driver's license. What? I st <laughs> it's like, it used to be like a you cute thing. You said that with an accent. I don't think I understood it. What's that <laughs> It used to be like this cute thing that, oh, I haven't gotten to it yet, but now I'm so old, it's become like a disability. But I thought that if you <laughs> lived in LA, you had to have a driver's license. I think technically you do. I've somehow squeaked in under the radar. So how do you, okay, how do you get places? I go, help, help, help. <laughs> <laughs> and then, luckily, they invented Uber for me. Oh, my so God. So that helps. I've been waiting for that for a long time. I wonder why they invented yeah. that. It was, it was you. It was me, That's yeah, because right. I kept getting stranded places. I could do my grocery shopping. Does your daughter drive? Does she drive That's you around? That's what's so embarrassing is that she just... <laughs> 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 yeah, she just passed her test, so... Well, that's great. Now now she can be your chauffeur. Well, now I, I finally went, now I realize your purpose. Like, this yeah, whole right. thing has been right. all about this. Now you right. can drive me, exactly. drive me down the street. Now, mm -hmm. does she have any aspirations to be an actress? Yeah, I think oh, so, yeah. Kidding. We failed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you're, you're, an, you're an actor. You're her father's an actor as yeah. well. Yeah, and my mother also, and my father, and my stepfather's a director. Right. And, in fact, her dad's father, her grandpa, is um, a professional Jack Nicholson lookalike. What? So that sort of counts. Isn't that what? great? I know. Oh, no, wow. wait, look at his picture. Uh, I know, bless. <laughs> he's very what? busy. He does it a lot. He's from Wales, though, so it's not good when he's talking. because he So he's a lot. silent Jack. <laughs> I mean, yes, <laughs> mainly. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever shown oh, Jack boy. Nicholson your, uh, is that you said that your grandfather? Your I love how you were. Have you ever shown Jack Nicholson yeah. your, and then. Like, yeah, I wasn't sure. If you said <laughs> never. Was your grandfather? <laughs> Your, my, your daughter's my grandfather. Ex in laws. Okay. Father. Okay. Well, God, I, God. I can't. It's too early. It's, yeah, Her it's grandfather. Too, Michael's right. dad. It's like Michael's doing dad. math this early in the morning. It doesn't work for much. me either. See, you were confused too, not just me. Super confused. Right. So, how, so have you ever shown that to Jack Nicholson? No, I yeah. haven't. But I think he was once employed to go. I think Jack didn't feel like going to the German premiere of Batman or something, and, and so Michael's dad went instead. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think here's what's it. Here's what's extra weird is I think he did a couple of radio interviews, which I don't think went that well, obviously, because he's very Welsh, but yeah. he was game. Like, he'll try anything, won't he? Oh, we see that. <laughs> we'll see that. You know, and, and we got to take a quick break, and when we come back, you're game, too. You're going to tell us <laughs> why you had to stick to small lunches when you were filming your latest movie, so we'll be right back with Kate Vickers now to talk about her movie Love and Friendship, so stay right That's a scene from Love and Friendship. Yes. Um, now, you have uh, worked with Chloe Sevigny before in the past. Yeah, one not? time. Yes. Yeah. And you enjoyed it, obviously. Yeah. You have a great uh, uh, chemistry. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. We, we did a movie together in the you know, 1900s called Last Days of Disco. Um, and it was the same director of this movie, too. So it was the three of us actually getting to kind of get the band back together. The fact that lovely. you just said the 1900s <laughs> was incredible. It was a while. It was a while ago. <laughs> but, this, but this is the adaptation of Jane Austen's uh, Lady Susan. Yeah. So what is this film about? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's about quite a naughty woman who's a, um, a recent widow. And at that time, obviously, you needed to find yourself a husband. But she's, she's quite modern in terms of... 
she she also quite likes having boyfriends and sort of controlling mm. everybody. And she's it's it's a very funny movie. Like you don't expect to laugh a lot in a Jane Austen, but it's 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 really funny. When you when you do these uh, period pieces, you always have to be um, you know uh, corseted yes. into. So how did you have to wear a corset? Because you look like you have just been born with a corset. <laughs> like you have. I mean, you know, I've worn one quite a lot. I think yeah. I probably might have the record for most corset wearing. Right. Anyway. <laughs> right. Um, but yes, they come in in the morning and and winch you into it. Right. The, the foot in the small of your back and you okay. have to have quite small meals. I bet. <laughs> so, oh, that's right. I'm thinking about that. You can't really eat much. It's not like a bucket of chicken wings day. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> do you? Do they have lean boards? Or I've always heard of uh, yeah. when people have a period costumes. I think, they, they, I think on a bigger budget movie, maybe they. <laughs> we were like, you just leaned on yourself. each other. Yes, right. basically. But this movie, you shot this movie in 27 days. 26. We had 27, uh, but we, we made it in 26. Hey, wow. there you go. Wow. Uh, I learned my line. But. Most of the time, people always go over, but oh, because you learned your line, yeah, you're cutting down. Yeah, I think they were allowing day. a little room because I had a lot of lines in this, so I think they were allowing some extra. I think that if you're in a corset, there's more of an impulse to learn your lines and get it right, get it off, <laughs> right, yeah, get it exactly. off quickly. <laughs> What you think? So you can have a meal to eat. But I tell you, that caught me off guard. Like you said, it's <laughs> funny, and that definitely caught me off guard. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing it. It is Love and Friendship. It's in theaters in New York and L.A. tomorrow. And it's expanding through the month of May. So make